Hey guys, I'm Colin Asset here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are playing some more Walking Dead. You can read it now. I've really yeah. enjoyed playing Should this recently, and I really want to play some more. So if you're enjoying the Sounds series, good. guys, give it a big like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, we could do this now. There's a notepad. Down, down, up, up. Down up, up, down and up. Son of a bitch! What? Whatever you did, lit the dash up. So far, so good. We'll say it anyway. Talking. Hmm, okay, there we go. Then. There we go, nice. I need to get that map. Nothing about the train. Nothing about the train. Hey, kid. What's up? I don't know about leaving Lily back there. Abandoning someone on the side of the road. It's the same as murder. Don't worry about it. We just would have had to deal with her eventually. With the directions I was able to piece together, I, I think I might be able to get this thing started. Uh, I don't know. It's a long shot. I don't even know what the fuel situation is with this thing. We'll find out. You mess around in the engine compartment yet? You want to talk about that? I'm really sorry, Kitty. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. With the directions I was able to piece together, I, I think I might be able to get this thing You've started. You've said this already. Uh, I don't know. It's a long shot. I don't even know what the fuel situation is with this thing. We'll find out. You mess around in the engine compartment yet? I'll get back to it. Me too. What? Me too. Right. <clears throat> what do we need to do? Yeah, the engine compartment. Definitely. Definitely need to check that. We need to check that. Okay, if we. Hmm. Enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. Damn it. Oh, sure. of course. We're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. Fucking hell, that shit me up. Fucking hell. Too loud. I thought those things were designed to save lives. Jesus, that shit me up then. 
This door's gonna hurt. No way. Okay. You aren't okay. gonna like this. Ready? Dad, got the animal crackers. Jesus Christ, that zombie shit me up then. It's in pretty good shape for a wreck. Alright, we have to get this, uh, this train unstuck, right? Let's give a cut this water first, though. There we go. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. Just give these animal crockers to Thank her. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. Okay, we've got to uh, detach this train. I'm not sure how yet. Get on this side. Yeah, up here. Good on here, this should be here we go. Can I use this? Oh, there we go. There. Hey Kenny, we're loose! Okay then. You touching my stuff? Shit, who's this? I took the map. I took the map of the train routes. That's fine, you can have that. Really? Yeah. I got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already it's met kind of freaking me out as well. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal okay. for a change. Yeah, normal. He gave us candy, Ben too. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. The man shares my love of the road. Yep. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Stay with us. We'd like the company. Right, I think here we go. We can get so start this it? thing now. We're cut loose. 
Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. She's getting sicker. Let me look at her. Is the train really a good idea with Duck like that? Maybe we should focus on one thing at a time. Yes. What can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we what get What about the RV? Going. Surely is that, is that going to stay here? Like, what's going on with that? The RV staying? I'm guessing it is. But I don't know. It probably is. So it burns always looking down. Okay, nice. Fast now. You gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them. Guess so. Yes. No. Lee! Lee, I need you, right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get okay, that well. off his face? My hands are full here. Yeah, sure thing. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? Sure. He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. tight in case the train stops fast. You need to stop the train. Come on. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. They'll be fine. He won't. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect, not that fucking sham you're running back there! <sighs> Calm 
down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, dude. You're gonna listen. Or what? Just stop that. Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. Fuck's sake, just stop the train. You think you're the reason Duck was bit? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. It's not what went down. You looked out for you, kid. Me, you done that. Bad I'm thing happened funny. to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. I know that. Stop the train, man. Okay, we're stopping. become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Ken, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Ken. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop. Just drift off to sleep, right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know, but we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just sure. who then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No. I'll do it. You don't have to. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Lee's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and. Just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Yep. Why don't we take him into the forest? So Clementine doesn't have to see. Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Things are 
What the? No! Shit, what? Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. What the hell? What? What was that gunshot? <laughs> Fuck. What? Get! Get! Gotcha! Oh my god. Fuck. Why? Cat. Honey. Oh fucking god. <laughs> what the hell happened? What did you She could she 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 just Oh my oh, god. Oh, oh fuck Shit. She killed herself. no one now. Doesn't have a wife or a son. They're gone. Fuck oh, shit. Jesus Christ. That's mad. I can't believe Cat killed herself though. Come on. Say that to that to her. The fuck. Hey, how you doing? Don't talk to my girl. Just stay away from her. Excuse me, son. I heard you told her she was gonna die. That she was gonna end up like Duck. Why'd you go and do that? Because she is. I don't she know much be. about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? Do what's best for Clementine. Do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured Tough out. Tough shit. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. 
You got her running around with a mop okay. that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. Yes, they have. Seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be safe up here. You betcha. Right, we gotta go and cut that hair and um, show Clementine how to use a gun. Hey, man. You and me, we. Uh, oh, fuck it. Let's just get to the ocean. You still wanna get a boat? It's still the best plan. Can. It's the best plan. We should get this ready. Well, I'm if I get by you for a second, Kitty. Can you just leave me alone? Oh, fuck's sake! Come on, get over it. Hey. Yeah. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem, so she has a lay of the land. Once we get to Savannah. Just let me get the fucking map. Do you mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Oh, fuck off, man, you fucking miserable bastard. I know your son's just died, but seriously. I was lucky enough to get it working once. Fuck's sake. Oh, come on, man. I speak to Ben. Hey, Ben. Hey. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. There aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. Are you going to be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. Right. I hope that's true. See ya. Yeah. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. Okay, there's a drink over here. Bottle of whiskey. It's a fifth of whiskey. I just talked to Clem. Hey, Clem. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. <coughs> yeah. I like that. Good. to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. Gun. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Squeeze the trigger steadily. Uh, 
more. These are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know, only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body, anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Aim left. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. And higher. Okay, a little higher. Maybe. Bit to the right. And then lower. Okay, lower. <laughs> nice. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. <laughs> Aim left. A bit more to the left. Keep it steady. Close. Now keep it steady. Nice. There you go. Nice. Yes. I did it. Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're nice, not walkers, Claire. though. No. Far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. I mean, she might have used some bullets, but it's fine. Okay, here we go. We need to find some, uh. He's lived here a while. Scissors, I know. Scissors in here. Here we go. They look clean enough. Show scissors. Hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. <laughs> what? Are you saying it smells? No. No. Cause it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. All right. <sighs> okay. Cut hair. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. You're right. Before all of this, I was sent to jail, you know? Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here. I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There. All set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, 
You look cute, and a lot harder to grab. Here we go. <laughs> Climbing down here is a lot safer now. Okay, no. Speak to Ben again. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Want some drink? You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Oh, don't worry, he's not gonna let me. I wanna go up front. Chuck said he liked whiskey, so here you go. I found this if you want. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. sure. forward to finish. No kid. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Can. Will do. Can you... Can you probably want to share a drink? Probably anyway. See if he wants a drink, shall we? Jack wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, he's actually moving. Here we go, now I can get this. Here we go, now we can go to clan. Thanks. Let's go then. It was me. What? Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. Fuck off. What? What? Is he serious? It's all my fault. He's joking. Why would you what do for? This? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. Oh my god, what the hell? You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See you. Yeah. Right. Oh my god, it's better. It's banned than all along. Okay. Sure, we have to climb your way. The map. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. Plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. And, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Who 
Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There's a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... Um... Um... Something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far... Oh, shit! Okay, what's going on? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Walk? I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing is not full of milk, group Charles. Now. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This? Yo! You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Shit. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened, I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, 
We're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. It's empty. Don't think there's gonna be anything in here. That's oh. about the only useful thing in here. Okay, um... Anything over here? No. Itch. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Empty. Mm. That's what I figured. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything around here, does there? Nothing. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Yeah, let's go down then. Guys, this is Old Mead and Krista. Not big on welcomes. Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Again, you want some candy? The plan is to cut that tanker down and be yep. on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens? Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Okay then, so let's talk to... You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Mm, I don't know. This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. Like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Okay, we're gonna check out this uh, train station quick. I'm gonna win the episode in a minute. Let's just go straight in there because we've run out of time. Oh, okay. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Open up there. Maybe I could look in. <coughs> mm, won't budge. Yeah, maybe she should. The windows open up there. 
Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Oh, hold on, Clam. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Prop it open. There's a gap up there. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Locked up good. Booster up. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Check. Oh. Behind you! Check. <laughs> No, fuck. Oh, right guys, on that note, I'm going to end that episode. If you enjoyed, give it a big like and some subscribe. In the next episode will probably be the episode that we end, episode 3. Um, if you enjoyed, give it a big like and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. And I will see you guys in the next episode of The Walking Dead.